soldier in uniform wearing his helmet. Veteran George McLean was the one who thought to buy the statue to honor their fallen brothers and sisters, and he picked the perfect location to place it. And I thought that would be perfect for the VFW. It's a soldier on one knee in front of a crucifix. It stood on a pedestal along the walkway to the building's entrance, so as people passed by, they could pay their respects. It was beautiful for two years. All of a sudden, I come out last Friday, the pedestal's there, the statue's gone. The building does have surveillance cameras, but the walkway is in a blind spot, so there's no way of knowing who did it. Now veterans belonging to the VFW are confused as to why someone would steal it. How can anybody be that low to take something that's that valuable to us? We have our memories and we have our mementos and something like that. Being the symbol that it was is important to these guys. The statue looks just like this. It weighs roughly 70 pounds and is close to two feet tall. The group has spread the word around town. They've also notified the police department. I think it's pretty despicable that somebody would come to the VFW and take one of their, their statues out here that you know, is out there in honor of our veterans. And the whole thing is, is rather senseless anyway. Why would you take that? statue. It belongs here. It belongs here with the veterans. The chief says if the person responsible is caught, they would be charged with a misdemeanor and could face a fine. But the veterans say they just want the statue back. Maybe it's a prank. Maybe it's fun. But if they bring it back, we're not going to ask any questions. We just want it back. And that means a lot to us. The Salem police chief is asking that if anyone spots this statue to call the department right away. Reporting in Salem, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.